everyone and welcome to my new toy repaint video and today guys we're going to repaint the coolest big styling doll head ever I promise you I've just received this box in the mail really the mailman was here just an hour ago and I immediately jumped in front of the camera to record this intro because I really want to see what is inside and I really want to repaint this doll as quickly as possible. So, let's quickly open this box and let's see who is sitting inside. And... Ta-da! <laughs> Check her out! This is such a giant Ursula hat. I think she's absolutely amazing. She really looks like Ursula and this is definitely the most unusual doll styling hat I've ever customized here on my channel. When I saw this doll online for sale, I instantly bought her, really. <laughs> without any second guessing, without any single doubt, this doll was instantly mine because I really, 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 really want to repaint her. I don't know, I really love big styling doll heads and this one looks like a real challenge. So let's remove the rest of the packaging, let's uh, yeah, remove her face, remove all her original features and let's see what I can do about this very unusual, absolutely stunning and spectacular big Ursula doll hat. Of course guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sorry I have to talk about it in the beginning of my videos. So subscribe, hit the bell button, hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here on this channel. And this being said, let's start this very exciting transformation. So, this is how this doll looks from up close and I really think that this sculpt is simply gorgeous. Both her face and her body, really, it simply cannot be better. She really looks like Ursula, really amazing, beautiful doll. Her hair is protected by the net and she actually has really nice hair. There are no bald spots, really nice. I can tell you, this is probably the best quality styling hat I've ever seen and customized on this channel. So now I think we've looked at her long enough, so now let's take acetone and let's remove her original face. Nice, everything is gone, so now let's spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and let's start working on her new face. I will quickly sketch her future eyes and very arched evil eyebrows. And then I will work on her skin tone using soft pastels because I want to add even more dimension to her already very expressive face and for this we'll have to add some shadows and some highlights. And some color accents of course. Thank you. 
Now I think I want to start working on her eyeshadows and you can see that if I apply this bright blue color straight to her purple eyelids, the color will completely disappear after I spray it with the sealant. Because the sealant that makes pastels more transparent and kind of this darker purple background will dominate here completely. We will have to layer and layer and layer and layer to get somewhat decent looking blue color and anyway it will not be very pure and very bright. So I will first apply a couple of layers of white background to her eyelids, pencils and pastels and then I will apply the blue pastels on top of it. Okay, I've blocked the main colors and now I think I can start working on her eyes and I will apply more shadows, more highlights to her eye shadows, to her eyelids while I will be working on the rest of her eyes. And of course, guys, I have to draw her very, very evil smile. To be honest, Ursula's smile is the most terrifying part of this character for me. You know instantly that she's up to no good, really, with this smile.
good, this is where I will stop working on her face and I will start working on her body. And I want to say that these colors of her outfit, they're very beautiful, but they are not completely correct. It should be black with a blue glow on the top and the tentacle supposed to be more purple, like a bit darker than what she has now. So let's make the inner side of these tentacles more intense purple and then I will highlight those suckers. Nice! The next step is probably applying gold to her necklace and I will use a layer of leaf in size and a golden leaf for it. And then I will paint the rest of her dress. First I will cover it with black and then I will apply a layer of iridescent blue acrylics on top of it. Okay, the body looks good and now I can move on to her hair and you know guys, I will need a lot of hair gel this time to make her hair stand up, but let's do it, there is nothing to do about it.
Okay, I fixed the doll with pins and I will let those pins sit here while the gel is drying and while I'm still finishing some tiny last details. And first of all, I want to take these earrings. These are her original earrings. And I will cover them with purple metallic leaf. The same like we've just done to her necklace. Perfect, beautiful, very happy. Now I'm going to take green iridescent paint and I will apply it to her eyelids to make her eye makeup even more impressive. Yes, amazing. This is such a pretty paint. I absolutely love this collection. And now I just need to attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Ursula doll and I still think that this is the prettiest doll head I've ever repainted in my career. Really, she looked absolutely epic before and she looks absolutely stunning after, really a beautiful doll. I think she looks terrifyingly real right now, so scary, so epic, so gorgeous, really. I absolutely love the end result of this makeover, but of course I had a very, very gorgeous, gorgeous and terrifying model this time. I don't know, I think they should make more villain hats. I really enjoyed working on this one, so I really need more. I don't know, what do you think, guys? Do you also need more villain style in doll heads? Please write it down in the comments, but you know, I bet you do, because these villain dolls are just amazing, and I've already repainted all or nearly all Disney princess dolls, so come, bring us more villains. And by the way, the spooky season begins already very soon. Are you ready for the spooky doll makeovers, guys? I don't know, I'm super excited about it this year, but anyway, I'm super excited about it every year. We all love a good spooky season. So, by the way, you still can leave your last Halloween special suggestions in the comments under this video. Maybe something will still make it to the final list of the characters made by me this year. So, and if you want to buy this doll, you can find her for 5 days on eBay. The link is in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. The next one probably will be next week, Friday. So, and now have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.